Hey, how's it going? It's Sean Bradshaw from CyberFred.com, and in this lesson, I'm going to show you kind of a funky country dominant seventh lick. And so, this is actually something that can be used in a funk setting and in a country setting. So, we get to, uh, I'm going to show you how it works in both settings. So, let me do that first. I'm just going to kind of play the lick with a couple of different backgrounds. <laughs> First thing is, this lick uses what is referred to as hybrid picking for the right hand. That means that you're going to be picking some notes, but also bringing in your right hand second and third fingers to play some notes as well. So kind of crossover between picking and finger picking. And so this is very common in, in country, but can also be brought into our funk realm as well. So we get some kind of some percussive snappy sounds that are common in both funk and country. And so what we're going to do is start off uh, with playing a run that is what are referred to as sixths. And I'm going to be playing them first on the uh, third and second strings. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my first finger on the first string at the fifth fret and my third or second finger on the third string at the sixth fret. Okay? And I'm going to pick the third string and I'm going to use my second finger on my right hand to play the note that's on the first string. And so and I actually start off this with a little slide up and just from anywhere below I slide up to that sixth fret on the uh, third string. And then I just move that down two frets. All right, and now I switch over to a different shape on the second and the fourth string. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be having my second finger on the fourth string at the seventh fret and my third finger on the second string at the seventh fret. And I'm playing those. Then I moved just down one fret, and then went down another fret, so the both fingers are at the fifth fret. Okay. So I'm actually playing those um, ones at the sixth fret and the fifth fret at the same time rather than picking them individually. So I pick the this individually. And then I play these two at the same time. And then I'm going into kind of a chord part where I'm actually playing three strings at a time. And what I'm going to do is take my first finger, bar across the fourth, third, and second strings. I play that, and at the same time, I'm going to hammer on my second finger to the third string at the sixth fret. And that chord right there is an A7 chord in itself. All right, that's a dominant seventh chord. Okay. So after I do that hammer on with my second finger, my next chord is just going to be uh, taking my third finger and barring across the fourth, third, and second strings um, at the seventh fret. And I'm going to pick and then with my second and third fingers play the second and third strings. So. Okay. Then we're going to another chord here. And that is where I'm going to be having, uh, it's actually a G major chord. This was actually an, a D chord, so we went A7 to a D, and then we're going to a G chord. Um, I have my 
third finger on the fourth string at the ninth fret, my first finger on the third string at the seventh fret, and my second finger on the second string at the eighth fret. And again, I'm going to be doing that where I'm picking the fourth string and then playing the second and third strings using my that hybrid picking the second and the third fingers. And then I come back to my D, play all three of them together. Then I'm going back to where I'm barring my first finger across uh, here at the fifth fret. Hammer on again to that sixth fret on the third string. And then we're going to finally end with just a single note on the fourth string at uh, that seventh fret. So that, just that chord part. And here's the whole lick just kind of played slow. So this whole thing, again, is over an A7 chord, a dominant 7th chord lick. And so uh, it can be moved around for different chords. And the thing to do is we got to have kind of a centering note, one that we focus your attention on when moving this around. And so kind of the second note that you play, that note that's on the first string at the 5th fret, that's actually the A note, and so you're going to use that as your centering to kind of move this around. So if you wanted to play this in for a G7 chord, you'd want to make it so that second note, that note on the first string, would be a G. All right, and then for the second part, just kind of know that that right there is a dominant 7th chord. So this is an A7 chord here where you have your first finger barred and then you're hammering that second finger onto the 6th uh, fret of the 3rd string. And if we wanted to play this for the G7, it would be here at the 3rd fret. And so if you kind of use those couple of um, you know, centering points, you can move this around and play it in over really over any dominant seventh chord. So one thing I'm doing is giving you a couple of jam tracks to kind of practice with. One being the funky feel, blues, and uh, the other being a kind of country feel, blues. And the three chords in a blues in the key of A are gonna be an A7, a D7, and an E7. So we already have the lick for A7, but when we're gonna play it for the D7, you want to come up here so that your first finger is going to be on the first string at the 10th fret. All right, so for the D7 lick, it's going to be this. And then we also have an E7 chord, and for the E7 chord, you want your first finger to be on the 12th fret of the first string, and that's an E note. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play that lick over the jam track where it goes between the A7, the D7, and the E7. And here it is with a country feel.
right, so have some fun with your new funky country blues lick. Have a good one.